Video games as an art form are often overlooked in society as storytelling devices. But in the last 15 years, some of the greatest stories that we've had came from video games. One of them in particular, a man trying to rediscover fatherhood, protect what little innocence is left in the world, making morally ambiguous choices for the betterment of someone else, and overall trying to rediscover what it means to be a father, what it means to have a family again, and what it means to live peacefully. This is our discussion on The Last of Us. Post-apocalyptic futures have been a little overdone at this point in time in history. Uh, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I mean, you only have The Walking Dead, and, you know, um, uh, um, what is it? The Last of Us, you have uh, I Am Legend, mm -hmm. you have Dying Light, Left for Dead, Dead Island, um, Resident Evil. I, I mean, and, we've got um, the movies like Equilibrium. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have, yeah. Um, I mean, Children of Men. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> there, there's a lot. But but the no, I don't I, think it's over now. But none of them, I think, explore themes as good as The Last of Us, and this idea Definitely that not in gaming. No, not in gaming, yeah. and, and this idea that maybe what, the, the, the the biggest the theme that 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 the, the biggest theme that stuck out to me, uh, just going over the last. I've seen you play some gameplay of it. Yeah, and, and then you know, I had going him, over the, the the video. I had to watch a let's play of it before yeah. we did this. So, but but the the biggest thing that stuck out to me is in a world. Without in a, with 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 not as much innocence left, how do you protect the little bit of innocence left? Because I think that they they touched on that theme so much, and oh, I indeed. I loved that idea that there is some innocence in the world still, and we need to protect it. And you saw that through Joel's eyes a oh, lot. Oh, indeed. And they you know the characterization, and this is something I have to absolutely give the performers, and that's not just voice actors because they did a lot of mocap for that. Yeah. But Ashley Johnson and um, Troy Baker did uh, Joel and Ellie. Yeah. And there, but there's also so many little things. Like uh, when you're in uh, Wyoming and you have to cross a, a dam. And so Joel, you know, gets the dam, you know, the bridge, you know, raised. And he, you know, him and Ellie get across. And then, you know, she goes, yeah, we did it. High five. And then, you know, you actually have to push a button. You have to engage. If you walk away, there is a different line of dialogue. But if you are invested in these characters, she goes, high five, and you hit the button. She goes, yeah. And it's so endearing, and it just shows that she is still a kid. She's grown up in a very messed up world, but she is still a kid. And I, 14, I, for those of you Well, yeah, play. and I and Ellie, I'll, I'll never forget. The, the scene that it really jumped out at me, the cut scene that it really jumped out at me, was she's got the... She's got the nudie mag, you know, but it, and it's a guy nudie mag, so you know, and she yeah. she shows Joel, and she's like, "How does the guy walk around with this <laughs> thing? Same. Like, holy crap!" And she's like, "Why are the pages all sticky?" And I, you see Joel, and he's just like, "Well, uh, I, I just goes, also the delivery on that." And she's sitting there, and you know, she's making all these jokes, and he goes, "Oh, why are these pages all stuck together?" Yeah, and you just watch Joe. And and Joel's just like, oh. "I don't," <laughs> and, and and right there, and it's such a simple scene. Well, because it's but it, any... But it, exactly. But it, and it was such a simple scene. And that one moment, I was like, wait a minute. There, he does still... Because him not just saying, hey, a guy, you know... Yeah. Hey, a guy who likes dudes, you know, decided to, you know, get excited, yeah. you know, uh, keeping it a little family friendly. Do, here. do, do what, you know, yeah, do but, with but, nudie mags. Yeah. With, with yeah. nudie mags. Yeah. But instead of just saying that, he goes... Uh, and he gets flustered and he doesn't... And she goes, oh, I'm just effing with you. Yeah. And she throws the... You know, she throws, she throws it window. out the window. Yeah. But, uh, and you real And I realized in that moment is that it just in a world so dark, this idea of protecting innocence... But also... Was really a theme that I've not... I've seen a lot of Last of Us gameplays. Yeah. Talk about fatherhood. Talk yes. about... You know, rediscovering family, rediscovering peace, and all of these things. And one of those, the central elements of all of those, is protecting innocence, children's innocence, as much as we can. Oh, indeed. And also, there's a, you know, that whole scene. And the, this is part of the reason I love that scene is, how is that different from any father-daughter road trip? Especially with somebody who's nearing yeah. that teenage years. Sort yeah. Of. And I mean, you've got Ellie in the back seat reading comic books, and she swiped that, you know, dirty mag yeah. from... You know, the character that they'd just been to see and, you know, starts, you know, trying to pull Joe's leg. Yeah. And um, Joel is sitting there, but it's the it's the quintessential road trip. 
It's yeah. You no, know, he's I, driving. I, I, yeah. Uh-huh. And, you know, if you just ignore and they don't have anything, it's just raining as it as they do this, and they're just in the uh, car talking and having this character moment, and it's very easy to forget in that moment that there's actually zombies in this world. I, I it's totally just forgot. A road trip I totally scene. forgot. Yeah, I, I just, completely. And then you know she you know sits down in the. Uh, front seat and he goes hey it's gonna be a long drive you might want to get some rest and she goes i'm not even tired like every kid ever, ever. and then in the that next 16, sex, she's yeah, sacked with the, out yeah, yeah she's a literally they do a yeah. frame jump and yeah. she's just out no and i it's and i, I, and I expected just that a road trip and I, I expected that not only did i expect that but i wanted to see it because in in those moments in that small scene god what a brilliant scene oh, too it's fantastic this idea of protecting innocence this idea of a father daughter relationship this idea of of peace in an unpeaceful world and this idea of normalcy and that's well, i'm ex- not tired and then she's passed out and then you know, just conveyed Joel so- not willing to tell the young girl about oh, you know the more the adult, adult situations yeah, that you yeah yeah and, and but but then she telling him i already know nope. what's happening yeah. and just as a parent as a parent yeah. i saw that scene and i'm just like i, I don't yeah, know how i'm gonna with, handle that I, yeah, especially I don't, with three girls yeah yeah, yeah 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 three girls and a boy and yeah. i don't know how i'm gonna handle that and but I, but i saw that scene and i went what how how interesting that that scene there again this i again this idea of of family finding fatherhood finding mm-hmm. daughterhood finding peace finding all of these things is all around this idea of protecting innocence because oh, even in the earlier scenes when joel was like do what i tell you to do and don't not some of those scenes were simply to protect her innocence even before he had accepted the fatherhood role but she was still over. important in the fact that this was how he got his goal yes and so he wasn't going to you know half-ass the job no and she's still a human, and Joel still has some care for human life, even yes. if he's willing to take it and necessary. Yeah. yeah, we saw that in the opening with his, you know, black market dealings. Yes. He's very willing to kill, but he doesn't do it frivolously, and he's not going to sacrifice her just to get him out from under him. Right. And so he's going to do the job, he's going to do it well, and he's going to be professional about it, and it's do what I do, but you're also a kid, and I'm not going to expose you to things I don't have to. Yeah. Because Joel, and this is a very important, this is why they open with this. Is Joel had the daughter. He had Sarah. And you saw their relationship. And uh, um, I think they did this very intentionally. Sarah's personality is what little we see of it. Is actually quite similar to Ellie. And they were of a very similar Oh, age. they're almost the same character. Yeah. I could almost not tell the two apart. To be and they're, they're from, of from course, my perspective. Yeah. Yes. And of course, they're the same age. You know, Sarah looks like she's about 13, 14 in mm-hmm. that scene. And Ellie's, of course, 14. And so they're both, you know, kids on the, you know, verge of adolescence. Yes. You know, and so, you know, the fact that Sarah was the same age and you watch that relationship. I love the, uh, when she gives him the watch and he goes, I think it's stuck. And she goes, oh, ha ha. Yeah. It's great. And it builds up. Joel was always kind of this. And when uh, the first zombie you ever see in the game, you know, their neighbor bursts in, he's got the gun and he, Sarah, get behind me. And he's sitting there trying, Jimmy, you're sick. I don't want to... Jimmy, stop. And, of course, Jimmy's long gone. He's yeah. taken over by the parasite that is yeah, the yeah, yeah. cause of the destruction in this. And But it's, again, protecting <coughs> innocence. Sarah, get behind me. Don't watch. Mm-hmm. You know? And... Um, I, I think that was a huge theme, protecting yeah. innocence, in that I really didn't realize that until I'd sat down and... Well, and, also, and, it is the fundamental reason the ending happened the way it did. Was you, protecting the innocence. You had to yeah. ask me, is that... You know, is, is this a multiple choice thing? Is there are there multiple endings? And no, it is one. It's mm-hmm. a linear game. There's one ending. This is their story, and so a lot of people call Joel the villain of his own story because he, you know, sacrificed the cure to you know save Ellie instead of doing what the Fireflies did, which is sacrifice Ellie to save humanity. There's a lot of logistical things we can get into with that about why I think that was. I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I'm going to be honest. As as a dad, I. I think a lot of people that there's no no my kids I, I'm sorry I, I, as a dad there's my no kids way. come before the world yeah they do my my job is to take on the world for them and it's only until that I am bloody and face down on the floor which Joel that does I that I hope <laughs> that I hope that my wife then fights the world tooth and nail until she is bloody and face down on the floor and it's only when my wife and I are gone that our kids then take on the world themselves indeed and that's and that's this idea that 
that I, a lot of people don't seem to understand is that I'm sorry. I look at this and I'm watching it very because because I'm it's watching. Very, I'm, I was watching this trying to learn, trying yeah. to right. So it's I was very like, objective. Very, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was I was studying. I wrote yeah. notes like my, yeah. my notebook like right there. It's like watching a movie you know? in film class yeah, versus yeah. watching it on the couch with your buddies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like yeah. and I and so I'm watching this, going, okay, what's the and and as I'm watching this, when I got to that scene, it was the only scene in the movie where I was split. Or in, yeah. in, in the yeah in the, in I, the, the, the cutscene yeah, movie yeah it was the only scene in the cutscene movie that I, that because again I I watched you play up until we met the Billy guy in the junkyard I didn't realize we'd gotten that yeah far, we but, did get yeah. that far but I'd watched you play that point yeah. so I had a good understanding at that point everything else after that but and so but but so I but I I look at this and I go he sacrificed the the the, the, the potential not even the, the cure, cure but the, the potential. potential cure for humanity. For this girl, who's he's kind of accepted as as his daughter, who's who is his daughter. Let's just oh, say yeah. his daughter at this and point. And also, I'm just going to throw and this I, out there because I think this is actually important to the discussion. Is that, and I see a lot of people gloss over this when they talk about Joel's actions. Is oh, because they look at it at very surface level. You know, no, you know, cure humanity dies. Well, we've already seen through his brother Tommy's society that there is still room for a civil society. They're all not all just raiders and you know. Yeah. You know, murderous well, hell, people. even when he lived in uh, uh, Boston, it was it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of it was crap fascist. going on. It was fascist, but it was functional. But yeah, and it was. Um, but but humanity still lived on, and and in different areas lived in and different so ways. This is what I look at with you know the whole cure situation, right? Mm -hmm. Is is that we have we have been told that all cure attempts have failed. Ellie has a unique strain of the cordyceps. That's the fungal parasite that causes the infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's for the people yeah, yeah. no no, no you're, 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 you're yeah. no i'm no yeah. i'm, I'm, and, uh, I'm so learning with, with she has a unique strain and that the only way to do it is to get a sample but it's a brain attachment it's you know you've got to get the growth in the brain yeah. to you know and which means cutting her head open and she's not gonna make it and so you know all right so now okay so these are our you know situations right is that this is supposed to be the key that unlocks the cure what if you're wrong what if it doesn't unlock the cure you just killed a girl for no reason. Okay, let's go forward and say, yes, it is the reason for care. How are you going to synthesize it? How are you going to mass produce mm -hmm. it? How are you going to distribute it? Yeah. These are all factors. You're not saving America. America was dead 20 years ago. Yeah. You're it's not, gone. Yeah, you're not You're not saving the old world by sacrificing the, the new. It's already gone. You're not saving the people that already died by sacrificing someone who is living and now. And so you are, and do you sacrifice the innocence to try and reclaim your past glory? Or do you save the innocence... To try and you know make a better future, and so I don't think Joel actually made the wrong decision. And I'm not a father; I'm about as an unfather as you can get. Well, <laughs> and, and, and well, and that's and and I, I mean, you know, in the I, the idea here though is you also do have to ask, and I did ask this question. This is why I was split on this. Yeah. Just uh, having watched it is the idea that, but other people's futures could also be at risk because it's not just reclaiming the past glory, but it's also yeah. attempting to provide, uh, let's say that Ellie never had a, a proper childhood. It's the yeah. ability that if Ellie died in that surgery, we could provide a proper childhood for children like Ellie. And, and, and that, and that's, and then, so there's a lot of weight there oh, it's very and, you see, and you see Joel struggle with this. You oh, don't, I know. it's not like he made his decision easily. You see him struggle with this. And again, and just, that's also why he lied. It is. Yeah. And, and that, yeah. that that that's and he says I swear and I was like and, and and the key and he didn't repeat what she said yeah he said I swear and I saw that and I went also the the, the facial acting because it's mocap oh yeah no it's yeah. it brilliant and, and you know she goes and he's watched the eyes and the eye work on that game is just phenomenal. oh it's brilliant and she you know you see her and she kind of. She looks down well, and like she doesn't okay. believe him. Yeah, but she's like, going but, to but accept she, it. But she's going to accept it. Yeah, yeah. it was. A, yeah. She, she's like, this is an acceptable lie, and 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 it was. It's this idea that uh, again, as a father myself, what would I not do for my kids? Would are there lies that I would tell to my children? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hundred percent. I'm not even going to bullshit you. There are lies. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it family friendly, but yeah, yeah. The, the, just yeah, the, yeah, yeah. But, there are lies I will tell to my children to keep them safe. I will do this. I will, and I will bear that burden. Yeah, indeed. I will bear that burden in my what final moments. Doing that. And that's and that's and that's the whole thing is that that I, I think people who don't have kids who just want to look at this. But if you think if I'm in that situation and I look at any one of my kids, 
and I'm in that situation, I will, I will lie, cheat, and steal, and I will bear the weight of that evil guilt so they don't have to. And I will protect their innocence under the pain of fire as long as they don't have to bear that because as a father, as a, as a mother, as a parent, that's what you do. That's the things that you do. And then at the same time though, thinking analytically about this to sacrifice the rest of the world for my children and knowing this, that's a heavy burden to bear and how do you bear that? Um, this and is you have to understand the, the, what Joel is going through. Oh, He's yeah. not doing this easily and none of the, none of the game this is where said being, he was doing it easily. And this is where being more outside is that they're, uh, they're in Salt Lake, I think, at the end. Uh, yeah. Well, and, the mountain range, so they're probably the yeah, Rocky Mountains. But somewhere. they're in Utah. Yeah. yeah and, uh, well, is that mountain that they climbed? The, they're obviously yeah. crawling, crawling through the hills. Yeah. At the end, yeah. yeah, and so I think they're in Utah somewhere. And um, they're... Um, you know, they're going through all this, you know, stuff to get there. And but I still have to say that you are, you know, we've already heard that the Fireflies have been decimated by the remainders of the military. Right? Yes. So they're at fractional. They're at a fraction of their former strength. Yes. What little they might have had to begin with. They were an insurgency group. They were not a full on military organization. They were an insurgency group. Yes. And so you're telling me that a group of 20 individuals, maybe 50, is going to. Maybe 100, even 100. You're telling me that they are going to somehow, and she, uh, the leader, Marlene, even says, I lost half my men crossing this country. Mm-hmm. And so they, this is not easy to do. It is not easy to get from A to B anymore. Yeah. And so you're telling me that the fact that the fact that Joel and Ellie made it across the country was a miracle. miracle. And so you're telling me that by getting this sample, you're going to be able to synthesize a cure. Like this is not a could, this is a will, mm-hmm. which I have questions about. And then you're going to take that synthesize. How, again, how are you going to mass produce it? How are you going to distribute it? You lost half your men crossing this country. So yeah, you're saving and the some children raiders from, aren't just going to take it from you? And so you are you just killed this girl for what? For what? How are you going to succeed? Walk me through your plan. And this is my own issue with the ending here. And I, it's in character. Which is why I don't say it's bad writing. I'm saying Joel is not a monster. It's because all Marlene had to say is, this is why, this is how, and this is how it'll work. Had she walked Joel through it, I think he might have seen it. He might not have liked it. I don't know if his reaction would have been different, but it would have made sense. Yeah. And then you can say Joel, you know, made a choice. But she didn't give him a choice. It's happening anyway, and if it works, oh well. If or it'll work, or if it doesn't, oh well. Well, and and you and you look at the idea of of Marlene, the the idea of her willing to sacrifice this girl that she raised. Yeah, keep in and, mind. And, and so, so Joel she's and Marlene... on the flip side of the coin as Joel. They're 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 well, two it's... halves of the of the same coin. And, and so that, this is as a analysis I've actually seen in the past. And so I'm gonna kind of you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, appropriate that. But it's uh, in that final scene when Ellie's unconscious and Marlene confronts Joel in the parking garage. That is mom and dad talking to each other. Her surrogate mom, her surrogate dad, mm-hmm. having it out, saying yeah. this is what the better future for our kid is. You know, she can help more people. Joel says, no, she's more important as is. She's more important than everyone. And one's saying, no, everyone's more, you know, but she can help more people. She can, you know, well, but she can do more if she goes to college. Yes, but she has to find her own way. It's, it's a very, it's, it's, it's a, a very, very extreme yeah, version extreme of the conversation version, that yeah, parents have yeah. in real life. Yeah, yeah. no, and it really is. And, it, and like I said, it's just this, this, this idea of protecting innocence through that, the whole game, the whole game. I... When it when it hit me, yeah, I I retrospectively thought and I was like, oh my god, I mean the 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 two brothers, the brother was Sam and um, oh yeah 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 the, the two yeah. brothers, and his whole idea was to protect the innocence, and when he and you see death of innocence there yeah. because not just before Henry Henry, Hen- Henry yeah. but, but Sam he lifts up his leg and he shows that he got bit, but not just before yeah. you know only Ellie to the audience him, though only only. Yeah, exactly. But Ellie hands him a figurine of Voltron. Yeah, I, that he wanted to take. And yeah, yeah, his exactly. brother stopped him exactly. saying, we don't take what we don't need. Yeah, exactly. It's a toy. Nobody's going to need it. Exactly. It's a toy. But it's a rule but, because but, he's a kid. He's but innocent. But it was you don't innocence. It's yeah. innocence. And, and so Ellie took it to not to protect innocence. Yes. Not even just her innocence, but some innocence because she believed in innocence. Yes. She saw this. And so this idea wrapped up in this whole game of just fatherhood and daughterhood and and family and peace and innocence is is i i, I and striving for I, it in a world that has lost it 
Exactly, yeah. and it's it's this idea, and then all of a sudden the next scene, Sam flips out. He's obviously turned. Yeah, he's, he's no longer you know, Sam anymore. He's, you know, yeah. and and you realize his brother has to now kill the thing that was innocent. Oh, in that the was world. a hard. That scene was that was hard to watch. That was a, again. I'm watching it analytical, right? Yeah. I'm watching it analytical. Well, imagine like, from my perspective, I've spent three hours with those characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and yeah. so, you know, but but it but, two but this idea was, but, yeah. is where do you go? I think the game just did it right. Yeah, I, they just did it right. They, uh, they did. So. They did. And, so and the defense. glorious timer has decided to tell us that we are up. Otherwise, we would go on this these for things for our hours benefit as well as yours, because otherwise these videos would be over two hours long. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Thank you so much. We will see you guys <laughs> on the next one. And don't forget to stick around to the end so we can tell you guys, uh, you know, how you can help the channel out. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching and drink with crazy. Thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. We have been having conversations like this for years and we are so happy to include all of you in them. Don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts on all of our videos to tell us what you guys think, how we're wrong, how we might be right, or just differing opinions. We always love to hear that. The two biggest things you guys can do to help this channel grow is to share it with all of your friends and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. We really do hope that you guys like some of the deep dives and some of the non-deep dives that we do into the various different forms of pop culture and we look forward to seeing you guys in future videos and live streams and everything involved with A Drink With Crazy. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you and we appreciate all of your support.